In this video, I'll show you how a single plugin changed Tmux forever with my workflow. Now, let me share you a little story. I remember when I started using Tmux for the first time like it was yesterday. I was in a TDD class at a company called ThoughtBot, and the teacher was using Vim and Tmux to write tests for his Ruby code. Then he would hit a key binding, those tests would run a separate pane in Tmux immediately. That feedback loop was amazing, and ever since, I've been hooked on Tmux. Now, for the longest time, my basic flow with Tmux was by running tests in a separate pane from my Vim pane. I loved the immediate feeling feedback it gave me, but when I went to use the test pane, things would get a little clunky. You see, I could navigate between Vim panes really easily using Control HJKL, but navigating to a Tmux pane required a different key binding, namely Tmux leader, in my case, Control S, and the HJKL Vim directions. That meant I had to use two different key bindings in order to switch between Vim pane and Tmux panes. So for me, navigating between Tmux and Vim panes was, dare I say, a huge pain. And that issue persisted for years until I found a plugin called Vim Tmux Navigator. Now, I know what you're already thinking. Navigator, barely even know her, but this plugin is amazing. So let me show you how it works, how to install it, and how it's a game changer for productivity. Vim Tmux Navigator completely removes the barrier of switching between Vim and Tmux panes. It was written by an awesome guy, Chris Toomey, and it essentially remaps Control HJKL to a special function that checks if the pane you're moving to is Tmux. If so, it will call the Tmux switch pane function. Otherwise, it will do the normal Vim pane switching. So let's install Vim Tmux Navigator. I am currently using a custom Lua config for NeoVim with Lazy as a package manager. And my plugins are located in a plugins.lua file. So let's navigate to that file and add Vim Tmux Navigator to my list of plugins. Then when I restart Vim, Lazy should automatically install and load the plugin. Now to test this out, we can open up Vim, then open up a new Tmux pane, and when I push Control J, I instantly move down to the Tmux pane, which is awesome. But I can't move out of the Tmux pane with Control K. And that's because there's two parts to this plugin, one for NeoVim and one for Tmux. Now that the NeoVim part is installed, let's set up the Tmux side of things. Going back to the plugin's Git repo, we can see there's a mention of how to set this up in Tmux. You could copy and paste a small snippet of code into your tmux.conf file, or you could use TPM, the Tmux plugin manager, to install the plugin. Now, I love TPM, so I'm gonna use that. If you don't already have TPM running in your Tmux configuration, check out the docs. It basically works like Lazy, Packer, or any other Vim plugin manager you can think of. Once you have TPM installed, installing Vim Tmux Navigator is easy. Merely paste the plugin into your config and type Tmux leader I to install your plugin. And now I'm all set. I can easily switch between Tmux and Vim panes using only one command, Control H J K N L. I gotta say, this completely changed my Tmux and Vim workflow when I found this plugin. Moving between panes is extremely smooth and intuitive, and it makes Tmux and it makes Tmux that much more fun. Now, if you want to know how I set up Tmux to look this way, check out this video next. And hey, thanks, nerds.